What's up guys, Prince Sports here. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Now yesterday, Russell Westbrook made history, right? He has now the most triple doubles than any player in NBA history, okay? Now, I'm gonna congratulate him, all right? Um, give him his props, you know? I'm not gonna sit here and just 100% downgrade it, but here's my thing with that. I'm 50% impressed, 50% not impressed. It's right there in the middle of the road for me. Okay, because keep in mind, you had a lot of guys that could have did this, you know, especially in today's league. Um, but I'm going to take it back to 2009. LeBron won an MVP 2009 and 2010. He could have averaged a triple-double for both of those seasons. But the coach took him out of the game when the games was blown out of proportion. Because keep in mind, they was running amok on teams. They was winning like 66 games. And there have been a lot of games when LeBron was like, 27, 8, 9, you know, one rebound away, one, two assists away from a triple-double. If you count all those games that he had in those seasons, he would have averaged a triple-double for both of those seasons. So you got to keep into motion that Westbrook was allowed to do this a lot, you know, and a lot of this uh, accomplishment that he got came from stat padding. Last night's game, yesterday's game, was a stat padding game for Russell Westbrook, you know, no matter what, no matter how you slice it. And the consequence for that, they lost, you know. Now, keep in mind, there are some games where those triple doubles was needed. In the 2017 season, you can make a case that a lot of those triple doubles was needed because they weren't playing. He wasn't playing on a good team, and he kind of needed those triple doubles to get that 2017 to the playoffs. So I give him all the respect out of that. But outside of that, He's been playing with an all-star basically for his whole career. And he's going to get penalized for playing with um, a lot of all-stars but couldn't take them farther, okay? Keep in mind, he played with James Harden and Kevin Durant, but those guys was drafted to that team. It's not like he formed a big-time team with those guys. They were all drafted to those that team, and they were young. But nevertheless, they did underachieve. You know, they spent a lot of time playing your turn, my turn basketball, and a lot of Westbrook's accomplishments, okay, um, especially when it comes to triple doubles, came non-efficient. A lot of his triple doubles was non-efficient triple doubles. I would have been more impressed with LeBron averaging a triple double because he probably still would have been shooting 50% from the field, been a good playmaker, uh, had more more assists and turnovers, and had more re had more a better rebounder. At least he was out there. Going, going for rebounds instead of stat padding rebounds. Westbrook was a very is a very poor, inefficient shooter and an inefficient scorer. Okay, so but he's still able to get to get double digits in in scoring. Boom. Then you got assist passing the ball. Okay, um, a lot of Westbrook's assists just come from holding the ball a long time and passing the ball. Sometimes when he couldn't get his own shot off, that's where it really started. Because he had to pass the ball to somebody. Somebody had to make the shot. You know, I'm not saying that he's a bad playmaker. But his playmaking skills came out of forceness. Okay, he's forcing forcing the issue. He kept passing the ball until he get the assist. Rebounding. Um, rebounding was the most suspect thing out of Westbrook's um, triple doubles. Because he's not that great of a rebounder. Um, but a lot of guys, he's taking rebounds away from his teammates. And he did this for countless seasons. So I got to put it into, I got to be objective about it. Got to put it on the real. It's a great accomplishment to have. But at the same time, um, a lot of those triple doubles were stat padded. That's just the, the truth of the matter. You know, um, stat padding, triple doubles is less impressive to me than just getting them in the flow of the game. Oscar Robinson got them in the flow of the game. Jason Kidd got his triple-doubles in the flow of the game. A lot of guys got their triple-doubles in the flow of the game. Magic Johnson, great playmaker, got his triple-doubles in the flow of the game. Um, I can't say the same thing for Russell Westbrook, you know. And you choked away a 3-1 to -one lead against the Warriors. That's on your resume. You had more than enough talent to get the job done and go to the finals. That's your second chance you had to go and win the title. Um, you came up short a couple times in the playoffs. You had boneheaded plays. You get outplayed by Dane Dollar, you know, in the playoffs. These things happen, okay? So 
Those triple doubles is just a stat, but you play the game to win, far and foremost. You played the game to win. And Westbrook far too often has put stats above winning sometimes. And he got to get his, but then win after that. You know, it's like, we're going to win, but we're going to win my way with me getting these numbers. So I'm not 100% fully impressed by that. Like I said, if some other player was doing it and he did it in a more efficient manner, I would have been more impressed. Because those people in analytics, they hate Russell Westbrook. Okay, because Westbrook goes up against the grain for analytics because he's averaging a triple double, but <laughs> analytics, you throw that completely out the window when it comes to Westbrook because he don't match the bill. You know, analytics, they don't like Kobe Bryant. So this is where you have to see the game, you know, and it'd be a different story if Westbrook got these triple doubles in a more better fashion. But a lot of them became a lot of these triple doubles became forced. Okay, so I mean, it is what it is. And but nevertheless, I will always say this about Russell Westbrook. Does he have Mamba mentality? Yes. Is he a great basketball player? Yes. Is he super athletic? Yes. And that you can't take away from him. There's no stat to judge what's in here. Okay? The guy has heart. And this just goes to show you, stats ain't everything. Because if you're taking stats away, the... Averaging a triple-double for countless seasons, you would say that Westbrook is a better all-around player than a guy like LeBron James, right? But are we really going to say that? Is Westbrook really a better playmaker than LeBron James? But he averages more stats. Is he a better rebounder than LeBron James? But he averages more rebounds. <laughs> stats don't tell everything. You, know, you got to watch the games to know some stuff. And this is why I tell people, don't always go by stats. Print sports out. Peace.